Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Jim and we are going to review The Devil's Hand, also known as Where the Devil Hides. Today, 2014, maybe it's a supernatural drama, maybe, maybe it's just a murder mystery. I'm not going to tell you, you'll have to watch the plot. Uh, um, give us a plot synopsis. Yeah. Um, so the plot um, focuses around these, it's technically five girls, but um, the start of the, the movie tells you about six girls being born on the sixth day of the sixth month, and um, basically it's fulfilling this prophecy with regards to uh, the devil's kind of like... The drama kin, it's like some yeah, kind of demonic... Presence. Basically like the devil's right hand man type thing. Um, and it basically follows the story of these um, and five girls, I won't tell you why there's not six, you'll find out if you watch it. Um, five girls, um, you know, kind of through them, um, they're about to turn 18, and it kind of follows it through this and what happens and, you know, death ensues and... It's, it's, a, and it's basically set in one of these kind of Amish type uh, communities called New Bethlehem, where they're obviously uh, very sort of religiously devout, uh, you know, very sort of simple lives. And you know, as, as uh, Pauline said, there's a, there's, a, there's a prophecy, and all these people are kind of pretty much taking it for its word. And uh, essentially, the the prophecy states that one of these girls will be the the kind of the, the antichrist, essentially. Yeah. And throughout the movie, uh, there's essentially, for lack of a better word, a slasher. There's killing off, um, you know, kind of people. Uh, I won't say, you know, who and why, yeah. but uh, basically killing off people. And we're, you know, we're led to believe there's a number of possibilities. You know, is this just kind of like sort of, you know, religious kind of craziness? Is there, you know, is, is the threat real or is it something else entirely? Is it, is it, is it the kind of the religious people themselves that are taking it upon themselves to sort of. Uh, to try and cleanse the flock there's all sorts yeah. of possibilities basically so it is more along the lines of a, a a kind of murder mystery but set in the kind of the backdrop of this kind of um potential sort of possession uh sort of storyline but i would say this i would say it's not a possession film no. or horror film no, in the strictest no. sense although it kind of is set in that world if that makes sense and, and this, i think that's certainly where this, this film is presented it's sort of you'll be forgiven for thinking it's probably going to be some kind of like mm. a horror film but it, it really isn't it's more of a you know like i said a kind of a murder mystery ultimately yeah. and a kind of drama so uh what did you think of it uh, i actually quite liked it um i thought it was quite good um the storyline at times i think at the beginning um you kind of you know, you, you you kind of think it's set back in the olden days when actually it's parred alongside kind of like new age and old age. So yeah, they're Amish um, and live in their own community. And I, I kind of felt like that didn't quite make sense. There was a few bits at the beginning. Yeah, but that's, that's, there is communities like that. No, I know there is. Yeah. But um, the, at the beginning of the story, it didn't quite make sense when they're in like their old get up and this guy comes in and they're like, oh, t-shirt and I was like what the hell you know it kind of I felt like per mm. personally myself that wasn't quite well explained I, I think when you are outside of um, America because we don't really have that in, really. In, in, in this country so you know it's, it's kind of I mean I'm obviously we're aware of it pretty yeah. much through films but we don't have it in this country no, we have so religious you know you know people, people. who go to church. church we don't we don't have like whole areas where there's just probably you know sites of devout religious basically yeah. so anyway i found that part <laughs> <laughs> a little bit like they didn't quite explain that mm. kind of well enough that that's what it was it kind of gave the illusion of you know you thought it was a yeah. kind of thing but it says in the, it um, says in the right in the beginning of the day it says like 1994 yeah i probably didn't pay attention yeah. to that that's why mm. um <laughs> but um that's what happens when you're drinking wine watching a movie <laughs> <laughs> um, but I actually enjoyed it I thought it was pretty good I didn't think again you know you kind of probably expected it to be like a possession thing but it wasn't I quite, I quite enjoyed the uh, the uh, slasher element of it trying to guess who it was it was quite good it, it, it tell you what it reminds the, the slasher parts of it reminded me of Scream the way that kind of yeah. Uh, yeah. you know we had this kind of like hooded figure mm. and a bit like urban legend it's clearly I mean the way that, that they shoot this this, uh, this sort of hooded figure because you never sort of see the face and stuff you thought like, okay clearly that's meant to be mm. that's someone in the main cast because obviously they're, they're making a point of not showing 
uh, the face. And I always think when you kind of get that in slasher films, okay, obviously this is someone that we've met. Yeah. And it is, but I'm not going to tell you who. Um, but, you know, there, there is a kind of a bit, some, some twists in this film. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there anything you didn't like about it? Um, what did I not like? Hmm. I wouldn't say there was anything that particularly stood out that made me go, I don't really like it. I kind of thought most of it was fine. Hmm. There wasn't really anything that made me kind of go, oh, I don't like this. So, not really. Uh, I think, I mean, aside from the marketing being a little misleading, which is not really the the fault of the film itself, I guess the only thing that I found a little bit, it it falls into some cliches sometimes. Uh, Like, for example... Uh, I mean, these. I'm not, I don't know what if you'd call them Amish, but basically, they, 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 as soon as um, these kind of religious girls, whatever they are, the, the, literally the first blokes they yeah. meet, their yeah. pants are down. And I'm thinking, <laughs> like, really? I mean, I'm like, if you're if you were this stuff out, you know, the first time you meet someone, I mean, you yeah. might have a you know a nervous kiss, but are you going to shag them like straight away? And it happens with more than one girl, or at least they try to yeah. anyway. And I just, oh, you know, come on. I mean, that's in 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 the kind of, I guess, the sort of traditional Western culture that might be the case. But in the, with these type of people, we let to believe they're so sort of ingrained in this kind of religion. I, I just don't think they would um, basically mm. put out with the kind of the first yeah. bloke who's kind of outside of their community. It just seemed, that just seemed to get, just go a little, that little bit too, too far. And I think we have um, some kind of religious cliches as well here there is a little bit of misdirection which i quite liked uh so you know you you, you may have certain opinions of of some people uh, and you know that's kind of um you know it challenges your your perceptions of certain characters i would say mm-hmm. i do think there's a couple of things that are left hanging uh but that's just me so what would you score it um i thought fairly watchable it was more enjoyable than i was expecting to be honest so i would probably say eh. Seven and a half. Okay, I'd I'd, I'd say at seven out of, seven out of ten, mm. an enjoyable film, not a horror film, but a a, a kind of murder mystery, yeah. I guess, wrapped in this uh, in this kind of uh, spooky package. Yeah. Anyway, what did you think of it? Leave us a comment, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.